hey guys this is Jamrin guys so in this tutorial we are going to create a list page just like this and then if we select that item then we get navigated to details page so let's create such type of project this tutorial will be applicable for both visual studio for windows as well as visual studio for mac so just let's create a new Jamrin forms bank application and give it a name as my burger app and then selecting .NET standard project will create a new project I'll recommend you to watch my previous tutorials as we have already discussed about model view as well as view model approach so let us create three folder as model view view models now let us quickly create a new page that is our content page and give it a name as my list page and then create a new Jamrin forms content page now inside our app.jaml.cs we'll make our my list page as navigation page as it goes to detail page and returns back which is defined inside my views folder that is my burger app dot views now as we have already discussed about list view in our previous tutorial how to place that item inside the given list view using item source so let us give this page title as my burger app and then this my list view whose item source will be getting from given view model i have set my visibility to none for the given ios application you can place it as true for the given android and I have placed some grid row definition for the given view cell and then placing image as well as two labels within the given grids so this is my image whose height is 60 this image as well as two label will get its source from the given view model using binding context so let us tell our views to get its source from the given view model using code as binding context is equals to new the given class that I will be defining it as my list page view model that's all now let us add that my list view model which is defined inside my burger app dot view models that's all now this image name as well as detail as well as binding food list will get all its property from the given view model before that let us create a new class and name it as my list model we are creating this class because our given view model does not know about given views so let's define four strings as name details image as well as ingredients that are defined inside my my list page dot xaml that is binding image name details that ingredients will be defined on next page this binding food list is only the collection that is defined from the given view models so let's bind this name detail image ingredients from our given view models as we have already discussed in our previous tutorial regarding observable collection for the given model class so let's quickly create a observable collection for the given list model class and then creating a food list object which will get all its properties from that given model as new observable collection for the given model class so this food list will contain all the item properties that are defined inside our model class my list model where I have defined name ingredients details as well as image inside it so let's take our name image i'll add it later and then our details so let us close that so for that image i will be taking it from our browser as burger image you can place that image inside the resources folder of both android as well as ios it will take that image too so let's take this image and then save it and then take that browser image as https request and then let's add that details information we'll be adding that ingredients details also but that ingredients will be taken in next page so let's for reference we are going to add this for now now that's all now let us set our is project as starting project I have to remove that item tab event for running this project for now so remove that and then run your project so we got our expected output we can place that multiple item inside the given list view so for instance I am placing only one item in the given list view now it's time to give this item tab for the given item selected inside the given list view so when any items get selected inside the given list view it gets navigated to next page so let's create another page selecting Xamarin forms and then create a new content page give it its name as my list page detail 
page detail then click on new now let us create a new stack layout which is placed at center let's create that stack layout and then here i'll be placing image as well as two labels that will be displayed inside my details page which will get all its content from code behind of my list page.jaml.cs if we tap any item inside the given list page then its event handler should pass all the contents from my list page towards my list page details so let us create an event handler for our given list page that is our on item selected when that item is selected in that inside our given list view then it will take the senders item selected even arguments as e and then that events let us add as variable for the given details then this items from the given list model will be navigated asynchronously that is towards our my list page details so let's make it more convenient that a given variable will take all its item from the given list model and then pass my detail name ingredients as well as image towards the given details page so that is navigation dot push asynchronously here the three parameters should be defined for the given my list page details that is we are going to pass name ingredients you can place any name for the given strings here for convention purpose i am placing name ingredients as well as source for the given image now the variable is going to pass all the details that is name ingredients as well as image towards our details page so this string will take all those values as its source and then pass it towards the given destination that is one image and two label will call its source from our given parameters that are defined inside our constructor that is my list page details so this is our destination that will take its source from the string name and then this detail will get all its content from ingredients now at last our image call dot source will take all its content from image uri source so uri is equals to new uri that is our source from the given constructor that's all now let us build and run our project we got our output as expected so if we click that we get navigated to given detail space that's all if you want to make your list attractive then we will be placing image circle for all the projects let's quickly install plugin for all the projects that's all now place render and implementation inside main activity of android project and for our ios project we'll place that renderer inside our app delegate so change that control name for that given image in order to define it as circle image so let's start our project whether it gives us correct output or not if you face any problem then don't forget to comment it down below we'll solve that problem together so let's wait for some time okay we got our circle image that is this our circle image that can navigate it to details page that's all Thank you guys. Thanks for watching Jamarin guys. So keep in touch for next tutorials.